Chelsea for Sassafras and Hope Blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. So today we are going to talk about my top eight things that are amazing about working a part-time seasonal job. Awesome thing number eight, you get to work outside during the nice time of day. Everybody else who's working their boring nine to five jobs, they're like inside with air conditioning and I mean that's nice. but. You know, you get to be outside in the fresh air, enjoying the day, as opposed to being cooped up inside where you're just hating life and fluorescent light bulbs and stuff. <laughs> Number seven, tips. Have you ever worked, like, at, because my part-time job, which is part-time seasonal whatever, one of them, is at a golf course, and from time to time I get tips. I got five bucks one time. That was cool. I got 20 bucks one time. That was even cooler. Number six. You can avoid winter driving because you don't work during the winter because it's not summer or fall or spring. So you get to stay at home and not have to drive in like eight feet of snow unless you're, you know, in California or Florida where you work all year round, which is kind of nice. But I don't have to work for three months. Yay! <laughs> Number five. Number five. Swag. I get tons of cool stuff. And this is stuff that, you know, you wouldn't get, I don't know, working anywhere else. I get golf balls for free. I get tees for free. I get sometimes hats for free. Sometimes we have tournaments at 7 o'clock in the morning, which means that I have to be there at 5 o'clock in the morning. But you know what? It's all worth it because I get free breakfast burritos and coffee. Mostly the, mostly the coffee is what I'm thankful for. Uh, number four. You're encouraged to have a more healthy lifestyle. I was working, um, let's see. So at one point I had, let's see. Both of these part-time jobs, I wasn't actually working at the golf course as much, and I could tell that my uh, physicalness wasn't where I wanted it to be, whereas I went back to working straight up at the golf course, and <laughs> I came home completely like damaged. My muscles hurt everywhere. I was bruised. I almost like broke my arm at one point because I was being weird anyway, and <laughs> I was completely covered in mud and like dirt and grass and I came home and I could barely walk and I was like best job ever <laughs> and I just felt a lot better because you're out there you're being active and you're encouraged to live a more healthy lifestyle because the people that you're around they live a more healthy lifestyle and that's just what they do and so when you're around people you're influenced to do better so you want to do better because they're doing better three life skills that you didn't realize were as important as they actually turned out to be. Never really realize how much you need to know somebody who can actually park a golf cart until you actually need that person. <laughs> or say, you know, you're in this situation and somebody needs CPR, well who's going to be certified? That guy who's a lifeguard during the summer. So. You have all these life skills that you don't really realize, oh, well, that's applicable to, you know, whatever. Or knowing how to get a uh, picker cart out of a, <laughs> a ditch <laughs> by yourself because all the other guys were working on the other cart girl got stuck, so you had to figure out how to do it. Anyway, <laughs> life skills <laughs> that are important. <laughs> Numero dose. Vacations and time off. Usually they're a lot more slack at like a part-time, you know, job. They're way more slack about like if you need to take time off or whatever. Eight. Relationships. Because you make friends with all these people that also have part-time jobs and are also working like a part-time, in a part-time situation. So it's fun to be able to be like, well, I'm working this situation, but I'm also doing whatever it is on the side, which is my real thing. I go to work with a bunch of people that are, 
you know, working on vlog videos or writing or are trying to go pro in golfing and things. So, I mean, you just make relationships with people who happen to have the same schedule as you do and also happen to benefit from all the bennies that you get. And so it's just awesome. So anyway, next time somebody tries to make you feel bad about having a part-time seasonal job, just say straight up, I'm sorry, you're jealous. Cause I be ballin'. Okay. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye. The numero uno. Just for what? I mean, shh, get me some Starbucks money. Get me some shoe money. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Tip so I go to school with a bunch of er, Okay, so no awesome thing numero tres. Whatever. My count's all weird. Okay. My favorite part about working a five AM tournament or my favorite part about tournaments that are like uh, <laughs> I don't really realize are important until they're actually like super important. That's a vacuum. <laughs> Do you see my vacuum? I love this vacuum. It's so good. It like vacuums up all the things. And I love things that are vacuumed and up. And 